Hey, what's up? It's Russell, and we are back with Invisible Ink. So last time I remember, um, we just got uh, our new our new operative, uh, Nika. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Um, and she has no weapon, and we couldn't buy one from Monster. I can't afford pulling down so we pretty much upgraded her with a little bit of speed, a little bit of strength, and a little bit of anarchy. So she can she's kind of like our or pack mule until she can steal a, a weapon off of somebody. So until then, she's kind of just carrying our stuff around for us. So let's see, where do we want to go? See, detention center. We can get another operative. We don't need another operative. That's just too much dead weight. And now everything has is a little bit higher on the on the difficulty level. On the you see, they have twos and threes. Um, we need money. Or maybe we. Because we might want to go to like a nanofab uh, place so that we can have more options that uh, we have more options of getting getting weapons and stuff like that. Hmm. And it's only a couple hours away. It's like seven hours. So let's see what the Looks difference. Looks like is. someone is trying to impress his boss by working through the night. Hmm. Most nanofabs have advanced. I, Looks I, like someone is trying to. What I'm wondering is if this chief financial suite will give us more money. Um, uh, I think since this is closer, we'll go to the nanofab, and there's gonna be money there in like vaults Most and stuff. Most nanofabs have advanced security. Um, so we'll be able to get at least that. And we have to. I think these people have robots and stuff like that, so we're gonna have to worry about that. Digital security breached. Preparing for analog. Like robots, you can't, you can't knock them out. As far as I remember. You can't knock them out. Um, so it's like pretty much just all of uh, just all of it has to do with avoiding them. So, oh wow, did I really miss that already? Oh no, it's just explaining demons. So demons are defensive AI programs that protect mainframe devices. They will trigger when you hack the device. Different demons have different effects, but all of them will hurt. Be careful, operator. So you see these? How normally it just says hack. These have the little like looks like a little computer chip design behind them um, if you hack those something bad will happen and it doesn't say until I think you figure out the demon for that map what is this hack sound bug no we don't need to worry about that we're gonna hack this security camera I think the sound bug will only activate if you run so we're gonna send our oh okay so we can actually go through here so actually that was kind of pointless but we can move her up to the wall and kind of like hack into that. But we're going to move Decker up first. Because again, he's like our scout. And there's a, a lot of sound. So alerts, guards, and raises the alarm when it hears a loud sound. So yeah, as long as you don't run, then you're okay. And it doesn't seem dangerous in here. The only thing I'd have to worry about is if someone came through there. How far can I run? Oh, there's a guy right there. Wow, you can barely see him. Okay, that sucks. I guess I have to observe him to see where he's going to go. So he's going back. So the question is, do we knock him out in this room? And then we can have Nika just hold him down like the rest of the mat match. I kind of like that idea because she's kind of useless. So, but then again, it would suck if, like, we have to get out all the way over there. I think we're just going to keep moving, because he's going to be moving back and forth. So we're going to get everybody ready. We're going to put on ambush mode just in case. I know he's not going to come through, but again, I like being safe. So we'll put everybody, like, as close as possible to that door. Kind of just ready to run through, if needed. Um, And we can hack this for some power, too. Okay, and turn. Hmm. I'm real. I mean, not liking this already. I think we can get in between these corridors though, and then we'll be safe. Just get. I don't know. If it, I make a lot of office re office references, but there's an episode where uh, the boss thinks he's getting. Uh, chased by the mob or, or followed by the mob. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this. See, if he turns around, I think here is safe. 
I mean, he has invisibility, so we'll risk it. Do, 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 do. Okay. And then we're going to need someone to shut the door. And she's... And I think you might be safe if we're here, too. Because he's going to walk there. But he's going to miss us. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is a real... A really annoying uh, predicament that we're in. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to move her here. I don't like it at all. But... That's just what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to move her here. Oh, I have to shut the door behind me. Well, actually, I don't, because he could be interested in the door. And then we let him go over there. But I really don't want to disrupt his... His, uh, movement. So we'll shut that. So, as I was saying about the office, he thinks he's being chased by the mob. So he calls one of his workers. And then his worker's like... Uh... Oh, he, like, you just have to... And he messes around with the boss all the time. I'm going to end the turn here. And just hope that these guys don't get spotted. It's like, just go. Uh, just do this, and then you'll be safe. And then, but, he, but he says... How he says it is he cuts off, like, halfway through the sentence. Like, as if his phone is being... As if there's something wrong with the phone. So he's like... Okay, you just got to go to the... And then you'll be safe. And then he's like, where? Where do I have to go? <clears throat> and he's just like, first you have to get, and then you go, and then you'll be safe. It's really funny. If you haven't watched The Office, you should watch it. Um, some of the later seasons are kind of like whatever, but overall, it's, it's it's pretty good. But back to Invisible Ink. See, I'm trying to, so if I move here, that's four. He, what does he have, armor on? Requires armor piercing weapons. So like, I can go in here. And I can't hack this camera, sadly, because um, it's not activated. But I can go in here and, like, shut the door. He won't see me if I go behind him. I'm trying to think, because if I stand here, depending on which way he turns around, he might not see me. But I'm not going to really risk that. Hmm. <laughs> this is a hard one. Oh, actually, these cameras in here are safe. So I can sneak up behind him, at least with Nika, and get her the heck out of there. Because she's in the most danger. So, we'll put her here, and then we'll shut the door, because she's in the most, like, obvious danger. And then this, we know right here is safe, so we can put her right here. Okay, so we got her out of the way. And they're all turned around, so I can, if I move here and peek, I can still run back if I need to. So, we'll do that. Okay, here's our exit. So we know our exit is. That's good. But we don't want to go in there. Because there's a guy there and that's bad. So we put... I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Because hmm. he's a real danger. We're going to have to put her like right here. I mean, or we can knock him out. And then Nika can stay back and kind of just like guard his body. I didn't want to knock him out, but... That kind of seems like that's our only option. Oh, will he hear that? No, he doesn't hear that, right? Yeah, it's silent. So we'll steal from him. Next turn, Nika will come in and drag him back into the back room. Um. Hmm. Here, I'll be safe and I'll be able to go over there next turn. Huh. Man, this is a really hard mission. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to start moving because if I take too long, then this is going to be a crazy long video. Um, Yeah, we'll be right here. And he's not going to see her, so I think we're good here. It's be This guy right here is what's complicating things. If he wasn't here, it wouldn't be that bad. So, okay, if I run here, can I get back out of the way? One. Okay, wait. We got here, and then we... Trying to, trying to see how many spaces it is that we got. So if I go here and I peek, I only have two. I won't be able to get back out of the way. So we'll... Man. Mm. Hmm. We'll get her out of the way. So we'll put her here. 
Um. Oh no, she's gonna. Is she gonna? Is he gonna see the body? Can I prevent that? I'm gonna try to drag him in. Okay, good, perfect. I can drag him. All right. So as long as he doesn't come over towards this door, we, we're, we'll be fine. Okay, it doesn't matter because we shut it. Okay, so we're doing. Uh, we're doing really well right now. And then we're just gonna have to wait another turn. My plan is to put him in through here and her in through there. Because he's gonna be looking at the wall. Okay, so we peek. And what are we here for? Oh man. Oh, we're here for like the nanofab thing. So there is a nanofab right there. I think I'm gonna hack it, see if I can get a gun for Nika, and then she can like make her way over here. And it looks safe in here, uh, relatively. So, there we go. So we'll get over to that later. Here, peek. Okay, this looks like, like a, a mission area. And then we'll get our guy to hunker down over here. Well, actually, we'll get him, we'll get him closer. And then we'll put him on ambush. Just in case, you never know what's going to happen. And then her, we'll put her here. Um, and I don't want to hack these safes just because I don't know what the demons are going to do. But I will hack this. To get some money from it a little bit. Like, the next turn. So I'll go to this to get money and then over to the nanofab to, to buy a weapon for Nika. Um, okay, so end the turn. Because she's just over here holding down the fort. And I, I want to try to, like, so we got a bunch of annoying cameras that we're going to have to hack. Have the walls have eyes. Um, any other cameras I got to be worried about? Uh, not that I see right now. Get some money. That's probably not going to be, we have 600, that's, that's a good amount. Oh, what is this, power? Yes, I want that. Okay, perfect. So we don't have enough money for the gun right now. Give one armor piercing to melee weapons. Okay, this is really good. Oh, we only need, we need 20 more. Hmm. So she can't do anything right now. I'm going to leave her here, and then I'm going to try to find a safe somewhere else. Like, I'll hack this safe and kind of just deal with the... I'll do that right now, then. Safes are alarmed of all demons. That's only for four turns, though, so we can wait it out. Not all nanofabs are created equal. You okay. found a good one there. Oh, this one does have one though. It has a demon. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna have to take the demon. Oh, they took money from us. No. Wow. Of all. Mm. Wow. I should have saved up money and not upgraded Nika. Then I would have had enough money to do all this. Oh man, we are in a in a bad spot. But I'll take what I need. Okay, do I have to buy something from here? Is that kind of the thing that I have to do? Hmm. What? Oh. What? What? We must have triggered something in their telemetry. They're toggling the power oh. onto some of the devices we've taken. Okay, that's not that bad. Because I can take these back. That's the only thing that really affected me. So we're going to finish this mission and then get the heck out. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to finish it and get out of here. Pretty much we're in like a bad spot, so we're running away. Because we know where the exit is. It's right here. And she's in a, a dangerous spot, so we're going to drag him into, like, a better corner. And set him down. And then just stay there. Uh, and then we're going to end the turn. So this this mission might be really quick. Because it doesn't look like anybody's security is being affected. And it really sucks that we lost that. 
Like the stuff is we, we pretty much lost money and we couldn't get any money back. That's that's really bad. So we're just gonna run out of here. And we're gonna peek just to make sure everything is still as expected. Okay. Okay, we're just that was a quick mission. I know I'm sounding a little cocky because I'm like, oh that was a quick mission. Okay, shut the door. But I'm feeling pretty confident, so that's okay. Uh, I do want her to peek, so I'm gonna have her peek real quick because I know there's a guy in here and a robot. The robot's not that big of a deal. He's looking at a wall, like guards in this game uh, like to do. But I can observe the robot. Okay, he's stationary, so we his only objective is to look at this wall, this extremely suspicious wall. Okay, so I'm ending the turn. Um, can I put her back on him? No. But yeah, we're almost out of here, and that's kind of our... That's That was kind of like a just... A drive-by. Looting. We kind of just came in, took what we wanted, and left. And again, speaking a little prematurely, but... I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, pin this guy down. I'm gonna peek in here with him. I'm out. Okay, see, there is another guy, and he's stationary too. So I'm gonna have to use his invisibility to not. Do I even have to use his invisibility? Doesn't look like it. See, I'm gonna see if he's stationary. Yep. So next, that's not me breathing. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, he did see me. Oh. What have I done? This is why you don't act like you've won when... <laughs> this is why you don't act like you won before the mission's even over. Because now I just realize as well, this door is, un is not unlocked. So I really messed up. But I'm trying to think about what I can do. Mm, I'm just going to go invisible. I have to go invisible. Damn it, they got away. And he's going to see this door open, so he's going to come investigate this door. Uh, what do I do? Mm. Do I have a key card? Does anybody have a key card? No. No, nobody has a key card. So my only option is really to just, like, run away. I, I mean, I could try to knock this guy out. And then in one turn, like, sprint everybody. But that... I don't know. This is not looking good. I can knock him out, steal from him if he has a key card. That's like my only option here. What was that? Okay. 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 So we're gonna. I can't knock him out. What are you doing? What do you mean? Yeah, knock him out. Do you have a key card? No, you don't. You're useless. Now I wish I'd killed you. But I don't have a gun, so what can I'm trying to think of my like what I can do to get out of this like situation. Uh, I'm gonna have to have her peek again. Okay, peek. Uh, does he see this door? He does not see this door, so we're gonna have to move out here. Okay, because we need to kind of like move in behind him, like super sneakily. If that's a word, I'm not sure. I didn't open. I didn't close that door, but I'll do it right now. Okay. And I'm trying to think about what to do with this guy. I could put him up against this wall here, but he will. The guy will probably see me. Um. I'm gonna. Dr can I drag him and still move? See, that's the problem. I don't know how much dragging takes. Hmm. I'm gonna hide against the wall. And then maybe if I have to, I'll sneak out behind him. Okay. We're just gonna have to hope that we don't die here. Breaching the door. They're down. I'm calling it in. So he saw his friend. Okay, so we can get her behind here, and what about Nika? Nika as well. So we're gonna put one here. 
And Nika is going to go like right next to her. And this dude's just going to like sit here and just hope that we don't get caught. Investigating area. Okay, he's only looking forward. All right, we're done. We're out of here. We're good. We're good. I think we have all have enough spaces to get out. No, Nika, run! Run, you fool. So he... The question is, where does he go from here? I'm going to put her back up against the wall. And then enter. Because she needs to get in there. Bridging oh, no, he's going to go in! No, it's done. That's it. He's going to look. Investigating area. Oh, he didn't see. They didn't see. We're out. We got him. We are out of here. Nothing to your liking. I'm sorry. I'll try finding you a more upscale boutique next time. That that deserves a little a little round of applause there. I mean, that wasn't a perfect mission, but the fact that we got out alive that's surprising enough. You still have nothing. You're useless. Market for you. It's a seller's market. Okay, so pattern resolution at eighty percent. Nearing confidence threshold. Then we're getting somewhere. Where did you find this thing anyway? Incognita was built back in the 40s by the pan-European government to run climate models. When the war broke out, she was retrofitted to predict troop movements. When we lost the war, I salvaged what I could of a central intelligence unit. We built Invisible together. Funny. You never strike me as an anthropomorphizing type. And you've never struck me as particularly charitable. And yet here you are, helping us out. I guess we all have our weaknesses. Okay, so after that relatively botched mission, uh, let's see, we have 41 hours left. So that's a, that's a good couple missions, depending on if we just pick stuff that's close to us. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll end the video here. If you liked it, then it would be awesome if you hit the like button. Uh, and if you want to see more of me barely escaping uh, these corporations and their evil deeds then you can subscribe and you can see more of that you can also watch some of my nuclear throne stuff uh, and I'm still planning on putting up some darkest dungeon um, yeah so we'll see when that happens but darkest dungeon is the game I like a lot and I would love to to do a series of that too so if you want to see some of that then you can subscribe and then when that video pops up you can check that out and see if if I play as a by playing the same way that you do um, and if you've never played the game then you can kind of see it and then that, that is another game that I recommend that you should probably pick up but we'll talk more about that when I actually play the game um, so yeah and if, you, if there's something that you didn't like it would be awesome if you left a comment and kind of just said like whether it's a tip about invisible ink or a tip about just uh, something that you don't necessarily like in my channel um, altogether then yeah, just leave a comment or send a message and say, oh, I didn't like this or I didn't like that. Not because I really want to just improve um, as much as possible. Um, but yeah, besides that, I hope you have a good rest of your day.